new series. I'm gonna be showing you guys what my room looks like now. I think we're gonna be putting it back to how it used to be. I had my desk that way, and I think I'm gonna put my TV on that corner. There, that bookshelf, I'm gonna flip it around where it's this way instead of, instead of being it um, vertically, I'm gonna have it horizontally against that wall back there, move all that. These shelvings, I'm gonna scoot all the way down and add those to this side and bring one down so it's even that light. I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Move that, like I said, move that desk this way. Get rid of that shelf and that little table too. And I'm gonna put all my computer stuff upstairs in my room. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. So this is what we have going on here. Now I am gonna be moving this to that corner, getting rid of all of that. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of things. I'm gonna get rid of this shelf, get rid of that. I think I'm gonna keep that and put like my, my others, my sterilizer, one of my sterilizers. I keep my sterilizing stuff on there. And then, again, this will go on that end. That was a little bit covered up by that curtain. Get rid of that. I'm going to probably store all that in those two because those are for my Cricut and computer stuff. But that's going to be going upstairs. That's going to go upstairs. So, yeah. So, here's what we have so far. Move the table to that side. I feel like it seems like a little smaller. I am going to be getting rid of that. Like I said, that's going to be gone because I'm going to put all my acrylics to this side. And I'm going to put that shelving on that side. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I wanted to see if I can add a uh, recliner in here for lashes. But I don't know. I feel like my room is way too small. I don't know. We'll see. Good morning guys, I am packing my daughter her lunch. It is 6.18 and she has to wake up at 6.30 to go to school. Today I do have a set of meals. So we are getting the morning started. We have a lunch, but we have some seaweed, we have some gym, and we are going to be packing some chips. So Lay's original. We're also going to be setting up for nails in a little bit. Oh, nails trash now. <clears throat> it is currently 30 degrees right now. Outside, so when we go outside, it's freezing. The field by the park, the field of the park, um, is frozen. I'll try to get a glimpse of it today, but now you get some see. Okay, it's just a little bit of chips. I'm gonna put this in there, and then we're gonna go get the room situated. Else today. I'm going to show you guys how frosty the fields are. I don't know if you can see this. I'll let look. It's so freezing. Okay, so here we have the knock room. I am going to be removing this. I don't know what I'm going to be putting under there. We removed the beauty liner that we had here and put a plexiglass and we added some bumper um, stickers. Or I don't know what they're called so it doesn't slide all over the place so now we're going to be setting up really fast oh. Okay. 
So I'd like to set a towel down. On top of the towel, we're going to set a dental bib. Usually the clients move a lot, so I usually sit it further up. Let me see. My dad is weaker already. We're going to set keto pusher mantle bit and a safety bit. Hand file. I found one. When you do grab these, make sure you scorch the ends of the, or the corners of these so you don't cut your plant. I, I mean that's if you want to. I personally don't like to, but I do make sure I grab the client's fingernail like so, and I pull it back while I'm filing. And so when I file, I pull, hold it with my fingernail, and so I'll be hitting my nail. We are going to need a brush. Swipe. I have a little bit. I need to fill it up. Okay, and that should be it for now. We're going to be using purple, so I already set out the colors here. And the nudes, they're going to be somewhere up there, but I'll ask her when she gets here. So this is a set that we ended up doing. They did come out super nice. I wish I would have recorded. We ended up sculpting them and extending them with a form. We're going to be unboxing this Shein package. Um, so we're going to be doing a Shein haul. this goes okay I think this is high as it's gonna get so first off we have these small sanding bands in ah you know what I don't even think they are for the small ones okay so I was supposed to get the mini drill bit these are not it though these are for the regular sanding band um, the mantle bit, I mean. Oh, no. I'm sad. Okay, no, it's not for that. This is not the mini ones. So it doesn't fit in my... Okay, maybe... Let me see one second. Yeah, so I got the wrong one, so let me show you. This is a small, or is it? No, that's not it. This is a small mantle bit. Definitely not for it. I might return these, I don't know. I might just keep them. I'm so mad. I don't know why I didn't pay attention, but I didn't. Um, so then we have these these um, smile line cutters. Oh, these are flimsy. These are like plastic. So you can either do like a circ or a circular one, a more almond shape one, another circle, and this is more of a rounder. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see. This is, I guess, the almond one, too, so. Just to make different type of smiles, smile lines. They are plastic, though. I thought they were going to be metal. I need to read a little bit better. I mean, like, the descriptions of these, because I'm just getting everything 
wrong. And we have these hearts. They are so cute. I'm gonna get some pink ones for um, for Valentine's Day. So then we have this snake. Let me see if you can see it. A snake um, template for polish or for um, designs and stuff. Then we have some bows. I like these because they're curved. Let me show you. Excuse my nails. I need to redo them or take them off. This is curved. So it's going to curve to the nail. The shape of your nail. Maybe not my nail, but a fake nail. I know it still kind of sticks out a little. I don't know if you can see. But it's a little bit less straight, so it's just slightly curved, which is good. And I bought this sweater mold. Oh, that was my son. I bought this sweater mold. And you can do gel polish in here. I don't know if you can see. It has a plastic. Let me see it. Let me take it out. end up cutting myself. Let me see. So we have this mold here. Oh, I love that it has like a cover or a scraping tool. Not sure what it is, but I'm going to use it as a scraping tool. So it has like the sweater nails, but I got this also. It has like some leaves right here. I don't know if you can see. And then I got it for the hearts too, but the sweater nails are really cute too. So there is that. And then we have these stands. I am using one right now. It is short, but it's good. It works. It's sturdy. It's very, very sturdy. So I highly recommend it. I got four of these, two for me and two, one for each of my children. So Then I got this 5-in-1 extra long bit. I think it's in a fine, fine um, grit. Oops. There it is. Now, I did get one from Mia Secret. It is a 5-in-1, so I love it. I got a one for me a secret and it was two I'm coming it was uh I ended up cutting myself with the because it wasn't a 511 so it didn't have a safety I got some almond shape tips okay so I am back if you hear water running it's my turtle tank um but anyway so we have these Almond tips. This is a stand that I'm using right now. Again, it's very sturdy, so I highly recommend it. I also got this template for, or mold, whatever you want to call it, for leaves. Same bows in silver. Oh, I got two of each. Oh no, so this is silver, and this is more like a gunmetal color. Then we have a Christmas stamping plate. Sorry, I say molds, but they're not molds, they're stamping plates. But anyway, so yeah, we got two of these. 
And last but not least, I got a liner. Now, I don't know how good these are, but let's show you. This one's a really pretty gold color. They are tiny. I thought they were going to be bigger. And then we have another one in silver. Or it should be silver, at least. Oh, yeah. That is really pretty. So, yeah, that is it for now, guys. That is all that we have here. Let me show you the stand. This is the stand. Again, it's super, super sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. So, but yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys until the next time. Bye.